Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces. Uh, you guys didn't feel a thing, but I took a whole week off and of course I had to come back with a cold. So, <laughs> uh, this is my life, you know. <laughs> well, you know, there's four of us in the house, so things happen. But it's okay, I'll take as many breaks as I need, but we're going to get through this reading for the week, I promise. All right, so this is for November 3rd to the 9th. And yeah, you have the Seven of Pentacles. It's a great card to begin the week. Um, <clears throat> well, I feel it is. I feel it's a great card to begin the week with. Because it's a, it's a card of assessing and pondering stuff, of looking at things, of going, okay, let's see uh, what we can do. Okay, let's, let's try some things. Let's get feedback. And what we have, yeah, we have the hangman with it. So the hangman is speaking of getting perspective on stuff. That's right. You're like hanging around, trying things out. What's going to make it grow? If I add something to the soil, is it going to take off? If I remove certain things, is it going to help it or hinder it? You're very much in the figuring things out part of your life. Let's figure out what works and what does not. It's a great month to do it in, November, because for most part, especially where I am, things are slowing down. You're doing less things outside, you're doing less things period, and you're just kind of sitting around going, okay, what projects can I do? What can I, you know, work on at this time? And that's a great thing to be doing, right? The hangman in itself is my card of waiting brings transformation, right? While you're suspending, while you let go of this has to be done a certain way or a certain time or certain whatever, you have to surrender because you're kind of hung up there thinking, well, while I'm here waiting for things to work out or trying to figure out how things work, I'm going to make the best of it. I'm really going to look at what makes things go, what makes things happen, how things grow. Uh, you know, it's not just looking at the seed, it's it's looking at the seed and all its components and everything that helps the seed grow. So I feel that this is your week. This is going to be part of your week anyway. So let's see what else comes out for you this week. <clears throat> The tower. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a eureka moment in here somewhere. I'm going to bring the camera in a little closer. Oh, I went out instead of closer. Come on in. Come on in. All right. The tower is a shock, usually. It's that kind of card where, you know, shock, chaos, upheaval, something. But it's, a lightning strike is always in awe, right? It's kind of like, ooh, everything got really bright all of a sudden. And with the Ace of Swords, the energy, the Ace of Swords is breakthrough card. That's my word. That's my, uh, that's the, the word that I use for this card. So when you have the tower and a breakthrough together, that only means that at some point this week, you're pondering, is going to bring in enlightenment. It's going to bring in the answers that you're looking for, and that's going to be really good for you. That's going to feel good for you. It's like that eureka, eureka moment. The tower's been showing up a lot recently, and I feel that's what it brings in. It brings that shock. It's uh, like a lot of people like to say when I first started doing readings, the tower is not just bad news, it's shocking news. In other words, it could be a win, right? Um, they compared it to a lottery win. That's not what I'm saying this is. Um, for some of you, though, this, uh, this moment of clarity can feel like a lottery win. Because when you find the answers to the questions, and especially if you're working on business or ideas that can bring, you know, riches, 
this can feel very much like a lottery moment. Like, oh yeah, I got it. And in love, same thing. It can be very enriching in the fact that you are working on a relationship and finally the answers that you seek have come to you. So for whatever this applies this week for you, my beautiful Pisces, you are getting that moment of clarity of, ooh, look at this. I've, I've taken a time to look and try to figure it out and suddenly the answers are coming in, right? So let's see. Now that we've looked at the energy and uh, what's coming in, which is sounds like a great week. It's like research and answers. That's nothing bad. It's all good. Let's see what the blocks might be for you this week, okay? What would be the blocks? And the card kind of like drifted. It's, it's going to sound weird, but like down the length of my leg. So very quietly, but very much in line, and I'm not surprised by it. Okay, so the chariot comes in. Not surprised by the chariot coming in. So the fact that it, the chariot is direction and movement, <laughs> but the fact that it fell down on the ground and kind of like glided, it almost felt like it glided down the length of my leg very quietly. Not like I could feel it. It was just a little bit. Almost felt the energy of sneaking. You know, like it's sneak, sneaking away. So, with the king, uh, the king and even innovation, I feel that when this eureka moment happens, hmm, you might try to not do too much with it. This is going to be your block. So, this is just letting you know. It's like getting the answer, not doing anything with it right away. <laughs> and we've all been there, right? A best word, procrastination. I feel like it's, yeah, okay, now I know what to do with it, but am I going to do anything with it? And that's what I feel. I feel like the king here, the king of wands, which is the king of power, the king of, like, let's get it, a natural leader, let's take that power and run with it. He's looking at this, at this chariot and going, yeah, I don't, you know, like, come on, get with it, let's do it, let's, let's meet this challenge head on now that we know what to do with it and that it, you know, the answers came in. So, interesting, interesting. A little sip of water here, you guys. My biggest problem is my nose and the sneezing. <laughs> oh, I tell you. The one thing, though, about getting sick or getting, you know, sniffly nose and stuff like that is, oh, you are so happy when it goes away and you start feeling better. Ooh, you're so grateful. All right, so what else does Spirit want you to know? <clears throat> Ooh, death and rebirth. Well, that's a, that's a big, that's a big message right there. That's a big message. Okay. I feel like they're saying don't take this lightly because this is, this is a biggie. This is something that's going to help you, right? Look, they want you to go with it. Like the three is enterprise. Enterprising means for me is go with it. Go. Take that energy and, and Start, launch, do something with it, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so even if you might go, I've got the answer, and I really don't know why when you get the answer you would go, I don't know, I'm just going to sit on it for a little while. I don't know why you would do that. But I know I've done it, so I can't really say much about it. I know I've done it personally. I've done like, oh, I've got the answer, well, I'm just going to write it down and do it tomorrow, which I always think, why would you do something later when you can do it right now? But we've all had those moments. 
Sometimes it's just like, I've done enough for today. I came up with the answer, right? <laughs> but I feel that spirit here is going, come on. You got the answer. Figure it out, right? All right. So let's continue on. Let's see what else spirit has to say here. I feel like it's saying don't dawdle. Honestly, don't dawdle. There's a lot here to be uh, grateful for. There's a lot of blessings waiting for you with this, um, whatever's coming in, okay? Um, it's a wish fulfillment type deal. So, you know, I, I most feel like they're saying, why would you wait or why would you, you know, there we go, another ace. All these aces coming in, it's like you've got all this potential, potency, okay? Potency, potential whatever you want to call it. It's coming in for you. It's coming in to give you that little extra humph, okay? Helping you move forward, helping you go ahead in what you're trying to accomplish here. Yeah. Be inspired. Be inspired to move forward, okay? I feel they're also saying that gratitude, being happy and gratefulness, gratefulness, uh, uh, and feeling like your reward's coming in, it's what's going to propel you to go. In other words, when this whatever comes in helps you out, helps you out of that tight spot, that, you know, eureka moment, take it and run with it with gratitude and happiness, like you have been given uh, a windfall, okay? This is an important windfall for you to move forward, and it's important to treat it as such. We like to put things that we receive that are easy. Let's say, you know, a certain amount of money. That's, you know, if you, you win it or whatever, we, we give it all this love. But we don't nearly give enough love to the ideas that come in that also can bring in a lot of potential and potent uh potent, how, how do I put this, like, uh, it, it, the word potential keeps it, but it's, it's the potency, like the importance of it. We don't put enough importance <clears throat> on the gifts that we receive that can bring us to where we need to be. So that's what I'm trying to say here with that. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's see. Six of Cups coming in. <clears throat> and there's a Death card again. There it is again. This is twice. So there's great transformation coming in with this. A great deal of transformation coming in with this. I feel that this may be like a childhood dream that's coming in. Something that you've wanted. Uh, for a very long time. I feel that this is actually a wish coming through. You know, like... Ah. For some of you, I feel that it's something that you've had on your bucket list for a very long time when you were young. You know, or not the bucket list, but maybe the goals list. Yeah, maybe the bucket list too. You've had it on your goals list. Like you wrote it down maybe a long time ago, something that you wanted. The story that comes in right now is the one where Jim Carrey, uh, the actor, wrote on a check that he was going to make that much money. And he carried it with him for a very, very long time. Until it finally happened. But he did it when he was very young. That kind of thing. It may not be a check or anything. It may just be something that you've carried with you. Inside of you. Um, like an eternal wish. But there is now a great big possibility of that wish coming through. I like that. <clears throat> that feels very nice. Yeah. So... Let's see, why are, like, why would be the reason, is it just fear that you're, you, you know, because I keep thinking of this chariot card, why are you not taking and launching this opportunity right away? Like, because I asked specifically for the block, and I, 
I can't see the reason why you wouldn't. Is it just because uh, disbelief that is finally here? Or it's like that one thing. You know that once you, you know, you look at the perfect apple, once you take a bite of it, it will never be perfect again. Something like that, as I'm feeling when I'm looking. King of Wands. Why? And that, that... Hmm... The word prudence came in. Yeah, that's what I feel. You know, like you're you're being careful at this point. You don't want to make a mistake. You get hesitant because, um, yeah, you don't want to take the lead. You want to be careful at all costs. The Nine of Pentacles doesn't usually mean that, but in this deck it has the word prudence, and I'm going to take it as such. They, um, It's fear. It's fear of once, it's almost I feel like the bubble will be broken and the, the illusion will be, it's, the illusion will be that it was never there, something like that. And I feel that spirit is going, this is your mind doing that thing that it always does. But it's understandable. I mean... If you've wanted something all your life and then you finally face with the fact that that actual um, reality may come to pass in front of your eyes. You may actually see uh, and, and um, experience it. It can sometimes be very scary. And before you actually launch anything you want, absolutely make sure. Maybe that's why you're in this position so much. Okay, the seven is sometimes hard to get out of. You have a hard time to get out of this. Even though you have the answers, you can lead it into transformation. It's, you're just being, you're, you're double checking and triple checking everything. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's go into maybe a little bit of advice. There's the Ace of Swords again. That Eureka moment. We're getting a lot of double cards and a lot of Aces. A lot of Aces. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so with this, I think the advice that they're saying here, right here, for you, the best thing to do is not to sit idly by. Um, idle minds, they don't really create much. They create idle thoughts, right? So, doing quality work. Don't think of it as going, taking the first step into that big dream that you've had all of your life. Because that can get scary. And that's when you are you get, like, skittish. You know, like, oh, I don't know if I, you know, if I can do it. I feel that they're saying, take this beautiful enlightened moment, this clarity of thought that came in, and start working on it diligently. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is always about skill, okay? Use your beautiful skill that you have so far that's gotten you to this point, where you got your Eureka and everything is kind of working out for you, and start doing quality work, okay? Have you ever looked at somebody who's like, usually the eight, you see somebody who's crafting with their tools. They're so focused on their work and the quality of it, that they don't have time to do other things. They don't have time to let their minds uh, idle around their focus on the work itself. So I feel that spirit is going, look, yeah. It can finally be scary to get what you wish for or what you've wanted or the opportunity that you've been, been waiting for. A lot of people do. They do. They do. When they get fear of success. It's, that's what it's called. Fear of success. When it finally shows up, it's like, oh my God, I'm so afraid. <clears throat> I think the best thing that you can do, though, for it is to just kind of go for it. Okay. But go for it diligently like you would sweeping the floor or washing the dishes, you know? You're going to do the best job you can so that the it can get done and accomplished. Just begin. Begin that way. Begin as, 
one thing to another and put all of your focus on it, okay? Make it the best moment, minute that you're in and go to the next one. Don't think, don't think about it as the big picture or the big scary dream that's finally showed up. Think of it as there's a job to be done and I want to do the very best job that I can, okay? I, I think that's the best advice anybody can give you, okay? When you're finally faced with something that can actually start, you know, bringing in or showing up as what you really want in your life. Yeah, absolutely. So what else? What else do they have? Yeah, here we go. It's, it's, it's the same card, okay? Once you're busy, look at all the stuff she's got here, okay? Once you're busy, it doesn't look like much. It looks like a, a lot of things. But <clears throat> when you start focusing on that, I think, I really think that things are just going to start happening and it won't be such a big deal. Bite sizes are better, always better than just trying to eat the whole thing whole, right? I think so. Yeah. When you do it, just a little bit at a time, you get away from this despair. <clears throat> The Nine of Swords, the anxiety. This no longer feels like a big, long, dark road to nowhere. Okay? Don't look down that road thinking, Oh, I've got to travel all the way down here to get to that star here. Don't, don't worry so much about that. Okay? The star is there. I would tell you the star is there. That's the most important part. It's there. It showed up. It showed up for you. It is waiting for you. All you have to do now is work towards it. I like the very, the, all the moon cycles showing you that you have time. Okay, work with the moon cycles, work with the days, work with your emotions, your feelings, work with everything that comes in. And utilize the very best that is for you. Okay, the road ahead does not need to be dark. It doesn't need to be terrible. It doesn't need to be awful. It just simply needs to be done. And there's a lot more color here than here. I'd rather use this 8 than this 9 any day. Okay. Alright, so what else do they have for you here? Knight of Cups. Yeah. Uh, keep the drama, I would say keep the drama and conflict to a minimum, okay, about this. Um, maybe especially in your mind, but to any thoughts that come in to disrupt. You know what, <clears throat> sometimes you tell people something and then they go, what about A, B, C, D, or E that you had not thought about? Sometimes it's a good thing because they will remind you of things you may have forgotten about, but most of the time... I found that sometimes it's some people out of their concern uh, bring in the drama. So be careful with that one. This is this is something that happens a lot. It's like you give somebody a solution and they present you with a problem, which is kind of a strange thing. But then you start dragging that problem with you, and they bring in like with like an emotional. Oh, we're gonna, you know, like, where it's because we care, but the drama behind it ends up just bringing in conflict. The Eight of Swords here, this, all of this, making everything complicated all of a sudden and blocking you again. So be very careful of the drama that you let in. It may be a good time, especially now that you have, um, that you had that eureka moment. You have that clarity. You have two Aces of Swords come in. To maybe just put that kind of energy aside. And it's not to be mean to the people who are concerned. Because there will always be somebody who's concerned and want to help. And But sometimes they don't help. Sometimes they cause, by getting involved or you letting them be involved, uh, it causes problems. It Not only that, it puts in doubt where you don't need it at the moment. Okay? Uh... I would say if you have a solution, you don't need to share the solution so that people can give you problems. Does that make any sense? If you have a problem, 
you can present a problem for people to give you solutions. But if you have a solution, you don't necessarily need it need to share it with everybody so they can present you with more problems. And you'll understand that. It's like, oh, I figured this out. And you tell it to somebody. And then they say, yeah, but what about this, 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 and this, and this? Okay? Sometimes, yes, it helps to keep you out of big problems. But I would take those suggestions with a grain of salt. I'm going to say it again. Because some people need to bounce things off. You go, well, they're just trying to, you know... Uh, they're just trying to find every possible solution. Yep, there's sometimes you can overthink something. Do you understand? Um, I would take it in with a grain of salt. Don't make it the law. Don't make it the rule. These people are not you. They're not living your life. They're just people who are caring. But <clears throat> just equalize it. Don't make it everything. Okay, that's what I'm... That's what I feel here. Don't make it everything. So I'm going to pull two more cards and then we're going to let it go. And then Tuesday I'm going to come back and we'll see where you're at with this energy. And we're going to continue on. Yeah, you're in a hermit mode. The nines, okay? Be careful of the nines because the introspections... Hmm, yeah. Can cause a different type of tower, Okay? Uh, the other thing that I'm getting here is introspective, introspection, this inward journey of the inner light. You did it for yourself, okay? You didn't need outward or outside help for this. You did it on your own to get to this eureka moment. So just keep that in mind. This is your life, your answers, your solutions, okay? Um... <clears throat> This is up to you to do. This is up to you to bring forward, bring around, get started, okay? The hermit's also somebody who hides away. So be careful to hide away too long. I, again, I feel like don't, don't stay in this too long, waiting for if, if maybe something else with this beautiful gift of, you know, ta-da! The tower, that moment of brilliant electricity came in. Just <clears throat> make sure to utilize it. It's a gift. It's a gift. When things clear up or get like really clear in a moment, when you have that that clap, that clap of, of electricity that that makes everything super clear in your life, uh, those are the times that you need to Take the opportunity that's been presented and go with it. Okay, I'm not saying that opportunities don't show up again. You will always have more opportunities. I've had many opportunities that I've let go of and others have shown up. Um, but I still think sometimes of certain things that I haven't done that I had great chances of, of moving forward and doing, you know... I've had it almost given to me where I've passed it up through fear to being too prudent to just, oh, well, you know, I'll wait. And I still think of those moments as I wish I had taken the opportunity when it presented itself. Okay. Now, of course, I'm going to put a disclaimer here. Don't do anything that's dangerous. You know, I'm going to put anybody's life in jeopardy, including your own. However, you know, if you have something that showed up, just for you, okay, Pisces, just for you. For once, it's just for you. Think about it real hard before you pass up on an opportunity, okay? About, you know, going, I don't know, I should be check it out. And then, you know, offering a solution so people can give you more problems. Just be careful with the way you're handling it, that you're, like, blocking yourself inadvertently in these things. Um... <clears throat> have more confidence in yourself and accept the windfall that life has given you. Okay, that's what I'm going to say for this week. Accept the windfall that life has given you and go forward. Go forward with it. I hope you're well. I'm going to work on being well. and <laughs> I'm going to be here all week for you. I it, 
takes a lot to keep me away. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings. My beautiful Pisces, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.